All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. We are the brothers coming at you from the JMS Camp Atlanta Church. And before we get started with this lesson, we will have to give our honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekar Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutations to you. Hopefully, that's been pushing the truth, all right? And as you can see, the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, we're back at another lesson. And in today's lesson, we're just going to get into how through Babylon is. When I say Babylon, I'm talking about, you know, America, Okay? How, how, you know, the, 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 um, the grinding, the ceasing, when I say grinding, I mean like, you know, working, things of that nature, um, trying to get your money up, um, these different celebrations and the, the music industry, etc. man, okay? And as you can see, the Lord is striking um, these celebrities down, man, okay? <clears throat> it's like you, but the Lord is actually getting rid of these, um, you know, music industry celebrities and a lot of movie making celebrities, things of that nature, and it's bugging Jake out, all right? Why, man? Because of this prophecies, man, all right? We've been telling you over and over again, hey, man, the grind is going to cease, mm -hmm. the music is going to be brought low, all right? There's going to be uh, a thick, gross darkness amongst this whole land, man, all right? right. And this is why this um, place of America is going to be destroyed, man, and got to be destroyed, mm -hmm. okay? But without further ado, um, we can get that Barack, um, it's like, yeah, yeah Baruch too. All right, this is Baruch chapter 2, verse 23. I will cause to cease out of the cities of Judah and from without Jerusalem the voice of mirth and the voice of joy. Con. Hey, Babako Shah, can you get that word cease right quick on the online tomorrow? Yeah. Let's see what that word cease means right quick. All right, the word cease. Con. All right, the word cease is a noun. Uh, I mean, it's a verb actually from the 1300s. It says to stop moving, mm -hmm. acting, or speaking, come to an end. Ooh, come to an end. Mm -hmm. All right. The Baku Shah, can you read that verse? All right. This is uh, Baruch 2 and 23. I will cause to cease out of the cities of Judah and from without Jerusalem the voice of mirth mm -hmm. and the voice of joy, mm -hmm. the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride. And the whole land shall be desolate of inhabitants. Yes, man. Hey, man. That's, hey, that's a powerful word right mm -hmm. there, man. So the Lord is, 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 is putting a stop to this place. Mm -hmm. Hey, you want to work? Bet. You're going to lose your job. All right? <laughs> yeah. Want to make music? Bet. You're going to get a bad record deal and you're going to be in debt. Or, and I'm going to get rid of you. Okay? The Lord is putting a stop to this place, man. Mm -hmm. Man, that's, that's, hey, that's beautiful, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because we see it today. All right? We're seeing all these things being put to an end, man. Mm -hmm. All right? They ain't making that many movies no more. Right. <laughs> they're, not make, they're not getting as much music as they used to. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are use, losing their um, jobs every day. Mm -hmm. And I believe a uh, brother got an article on, you know, losing jobs as well. Okay. If you didn't have uh, anything else to say, brother. I got a precept okay. back up that Baruch. This is uh, Isaiah 24 and 11. There's a cry for one in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. The mirth of the land is gone, man. All right? And I believe when we're going to Juan, too, we're talking about, you know, other different doctrines, philosophies. Yeah, philosophy. All right? You know, you got niggas out there who always trying to dip and dab into mm -hmm. everything. Okay? Man, it's going to be <laughs> put to an end, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? All your researches is going to be gone. All right? The only thing you should be researching it's the words that you have by Shimei al man, all right? On the Great Millstone, all right? The apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, man. Looking at videos, looking at the live stream, putting your effort towards the Lord, man. Your reasonable service. That's right. But you want to reason out, out here in these streets, man, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, our people still, you know, they're still into, um, they're still trying to have a rap career. Yeah, You're still trying to be into these gangs. You're still trying to, uh, you know, get that bag and live that American dream, the white picket fence. All right, the mirth of the land is gone. They, even your favorite basketball players, they got them in a bubble. Mm -hmm. If you can't tell that the mirth of the land is gone, you can't go to the favorite, your favorite stadium to watch the team. You got to watch them in a bubble. Everything is secluded. Mm -hmm. It goes to tell you something is up with this current system that you're in. Mm -hmm. And when it went to that wine too, hey, it butted it cannon out. Now look at him. Yeah. All right. Bug Kanye West out. Mm -hmm. Now look at him. Man, these celebrities are getting bugged out. And so the people. Alright? Cause you you two thirds not exempt. 
All right? You guys are bugging out, too. But, um, you got another precept on you, brother? Yeah, this is uh, Jeremiah 25. Uh, Jeremiah 25, and, uh, verse 4. It says, And the Lord has sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, but you have not hearkened, nor inclined your ear to hear. Verse 5. They said, Turn ye away now every one from his evil way and from the evil of your doings, and dwell in the land that the Lord have given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. Verse 6. And go not after other gods to serve them and to worship them and provoke me not to anger with the words of your hands, and I will do you no hurt. Come. But you guys do the opposite. I'm going to go to verse 7. Come. Yet ye have not hearkened unto me, saith the Lord, that you might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt. Mm -hmm. So your own hurt, all right? Mm -hmm. You going after your own doings, going after your own vain and pen, mm -hmm. going after your own will. Now you hurt, okay? The Lord is allowing the enemy to mess you people up, mm -hmm. okay? The Lord himself is messing you up. How's he messing you up, all right? You, you, you're trying to work so hard, man, for this fiat currency. Mm -hmm. Now you're broke. Now you can't pay certain bills, all right? Now, now um, they're kicking you out, man. Right. Your, your, your house or apartment, okay? Yeah, just to back you up on that. Come, you got it. There's an article that came out on um, July 1st that was uh, published on July 1st. Now, today was what? Almost July 30th? Yeah, it's today is Saturday July 30th. Be, Saturday will be yeah. the first of the month. And it says millions of Americans could face eviction in July. How much more in August? It says, and it could destabilize communities for years to come. Destabilize, man. Meaning you won't be stable. <laughs> You're going to be destabilized, meaning unstable. You're going to be staggering. You're going to be lost. Hey, you're going to be hurt. <laughs> we just read it, okay? The Lord is going to hurt you people, man. Mm -hmm. Because you people deserve it. Yeah, here it is. The word is going out. Even with even with uh, Nick Cannon and these celebrities bugging out, they're telling you truth. Kanye West is telling you some type of truth. Yeah. He's telling you not to take the mark of the beast. You know, Nick Cannon, you know, they're just out there to push the word. The, the spirit of the Lord was on him to say what he had to say. And now is the time for our people to consider. Just take a look at this truth. Consider the ways of the Heavenly Father to the ways that you've been living. All right? Because um, the scriptures say... Um, when the uh, wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Our people are mourning right now, man. You go inside the grocery store, everybody has a mask. You know, everybody, uh, everybody's not looking too happy. All right, the unemployment situation is looking bad. That's why people are getting kicked out of their homes. But this is uh, Isaiah 66 and 4. Like the brother was saying, I will also choose their de delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I call, none did answer. When I did, when I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before my eyes and choose that in which I delighted not. Our people are still into, well, Black Lives Matter is pushing homosexuality and transgenderism and pedophilia. Mm -hmm. All right, our people are still lesbians and, and, and homosexuals They that do without spirit, even in the midst of chaos. And the Lord is going to send more delusions along your way so that mm -hmm. you believe a lot. Our people are still into hotel, Jehovah's Witnesses the Baptist Church, the Pentecostal Church, even though all these things are shut down, the Lord has delivered you up to the delusions, man, because you failed to hearken into the word. So now, hey, man, you're going to get judged according to your uh, to your deeds, man, like the scriptures say, man. Mm-hmm. Because you didn't put your deeds towards your heart by Shemiah mm Oshah. -hmm. And what's the main delusion that you people are going to fall for, all right? The mark of the beast. That's right. All right. Hey, we can already see what they're talking about some kind of what tattoos? Yeah, the tattoos. Yeah, that, that BS. Um I guess it, it trash the location or whatnot. Yeah. Um what else? They, they still putting up 5G towers up. Um you got different airports that are getting ready for the chip. They're still telling you to wear a mask even though you don't see people in your neighborhood drop dead of this coronavirus. Alright. It, it's a small it's a it's an upgrade from the, the traditional everyday flu. But Esau has used his witchcraft to make it look like everybody, it's a pandemic. Now they're telling you, you got to wear, it's, it's better to wear face shields, you know. Now they're saying, um, what was that? I read some I read some foolishness today this morning that, um, yeah, it's, it's not, that's, that's what I read. It's an idea 
to um, wear face shields. So I guess your eyes can get the coronavirus now. You know, now they used to say that dogs can get it and then rodents get it. If you speak out loud in public, you can get it. <laughs> yeah. If you're five foot eleven and above, you can get it. You know, <laughs> anything and everything, man. I got a preset right quick. Man. This is this is ball, man. That's confusing. God, you got it. This is Second Corinthians two and eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices. And we see that our people, they're ignorant of what's going on. If you if you do a general survey and ask Jake, how does he think about the coronavirus? They're gonna fall into those guidelines that Esau put. You're gonna, you're gonna um, social distance. You're gonna put on a mask and you're gonna wash your hands. And it's gonna gradually turn into, you know, when, they're, when they're sc- they scan, they scan your temperature. Now they're gonna turn into, well, we gotta scan your hand and make sure you got the RFID chip, or we gotta mm-hmm. scan uh, you to make sure you got the vaccination. And that's what's coming, man. Mm-hmm. Our people are ignorant of uh, Satan's device. They, they are ignorant of Satan's mm-hmm. devices yeah, come, come. because they believe whatever this man pushes out in the news. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you put in this many cases in Florida, yep. they just add it to the numbers. Yep. If you type in 777 new cases, something in YouTube will pop up to where some state put up some number of how many cases there are related to the coronavirus. Come on. Me and this brother did it. Like, you can put in a number this damn long. Yeah. All right? <laughs> it's a state out there that has it. Like, I typed in 77 new corona cases. 777. It says 777 new cases of coronavirus announced hours before Florida. This is uh, this is on uh, May 17th, 2020. But you could just put in anything, and they'll just come up with anything. It just came with that out their ass, man. You know, so you, this place is through, man. Our people are falling alive. You know, they they especially the women of our nation, man. Especially mm-hmm. the women of our nation. They 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 take it too seriously. And um, it's going to come to a point where they're just going to gradually give you the chip, man. Con, con, because they're psychologi- psychologically getting you ready for it, like the brother said. Mm-hmm. Them scanning for your temperature, all right? Um, what the credit card scanning, you can just tap it and it'll, and it'll, it'll be approved. It's of that nature. So they're psychologically getting Jake ready and these other nations to take this chip, man, okay? Yeah. That's why you gotta, hey man, tag along, man, and believe in your how about yeah. Shimmy Awasha, man, okay? So that you won't be ignorant, and so that he can defend you, man, because you need it. All right? Yeah, uh, another precept, bro? Yeah, I got one in uh, Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah chapter 51 and um, verse 7. Starting at verse 7. I'm gonna start at verse 6. Jeremiah 51 and 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. And that word simply means uh, confusion, man. All right? Come. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. And deliver every man his soul, be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Mm. All right. So the Lord has a controversy with this place, man, because everybody says this is a God-fearing land. But what God-fearing land is going to produce homosexuals having rights, pedophiles soon having their rights, uh, um, an unjust judicial system? All right. First... um, Seven, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. The nations have drunk of the uh, democracy and, and the freedom to women and, and the freedom to be a, a freak. All right. Uh, verse eight, Babylon has suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain, if so she may be healed. Verse nine, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. And let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up to the sky. So this this is already written for the judgment of Babylon, man. That's why you have to flee out of this place spiritually. You know, stop celebrating Christmas. We were just talking about how Walmart and Target, among other places, are not opening on Thanksgiving. It's an indication that this place is through, man. Mm-hmm. This has to be the Lord willing. This is the last uh, July fourth. You know, no. early this month. It was the most fireworks we've ever seen in the areas that we live in, man. The whole state of Georgia was smoky, smoky as hell, man. Everywhere you can go, every, everywhere in the United States is smoking, man. So this place cannot be healed. It's like putting a bandage on a, 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 a <clears throat> bullet wound. It's not that's not gonna heal it, man. You can put they're gonna pump as min, million of dollars with these stimulus packages. They're gonna encourage people to start spending their money, but it, this place cannot be healed, man. This, this current system that Esau thinks is gonna go from 
the the paper system because of the coin shortage. All right, to no, we don't take any cash no more. And, and then it's going to be the RFID chip, man. So this place, it can't be healed anymore, man. Con, the Lord won't allow it, man. Okay? Man, this devil inventions and the things he done and the miracle has reached the heavens, man. All right? And the Lord is fed up. And also, the Lord is fed up with you wild grapes, man. Mm -hmm. when I, once again, when I say you wild grapes, I'm talking about you degenerates of mm -hmm. Israel, man. You Israelites, you so-called Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, Argentinians, Cubans, so on, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? All you degenerates, man. All right? The Lord has something special for you, man. Mm -hmm. Repent and get right so you, that you'll um, be saved. And if you don't, man, you're going to die with this place, man. The fashion of this world is going to pass away, right? Mm -hmm. So, hey, man. Hey, how's it going to pass away through that nuclear thermal um, missiles, man? Uh, that second death. Via the chariots um, messing up this place, too. Okay? I have a quick precept for you. This is on Jeremiah 13. And... Like I'm gonna start at 16. It says, Give glory to the Lord your power before he calls darkness and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. All right, and we all know when they talk about dark mountains, it's talking about these evil ass governments. Okay, it says, And while ye look for light, he turn it into the shadow of death and make it gross darkness, man. Yes, man, because the Lord is fed up. Well, you degenerate BS, man, all right? Like the brother mentioned it earlier, you guys want to um, sacrifice to other gods, all right? Glorify other gods, praise other gods, all right? Make Esau your god and serve him and kiss his behind, okay? The Lord is fed up, man, so therefore he's going to keep you in your delusion and then in your lies, and you're going to stay there and die in it, man, okay? It's, it's just simple, man. Like the brother said, hey, flee, flee away spiritually um, from this place, man. But the Lord is dealing with the spirit. He's not carnal. All right. He already sent his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, that you people even call Jesus Christ, on this earth in the flesh to die for our sins, man. Okay. To be that mediator for the hopeful elect. All right. Because he knows that the hopeful is only going to get it. All right. And become prophets. All right. Here we are today. Lord willing, we'll be a part of that number. But we're, we're prophesying to you people, man. Yeah. Telling you people what's up, man. Hey, get right, get right, repent. Stop doing this. Stop worshiping these false gods. Mm -hmm. Allah, Buddha, Ahaya, Yeshua, Yahweh, all these other gods, man. Muhammad, all right? You, you got love Christianity, doing Islamic, eating pork, all, all this other BS, man. Yeah, you see, our people are still into the, the black unconscious movement, the Hotep, the uh, Kemetic science, Islam, more science. But every, every, every wind of philosophy that's under the ground, man, there are people are still into, but they haven't figured out that the prophecies are lining up according to the Bible. Our people mm -hmm. say, oh, this is the white man's book. Well, this book condemns the so-called white man. Yeah. And these prophecies are alive and speaking the truth. We talk about famine. There's a meat shortage. You know, uh, earthquakes in diverse places. They, even in the United States last week, they have an earthquake in Alaska. Mm -hmm. You know, wars and rumors of wars. There's still uh, tension going on between Israel and Iran and these different countries in, uh, that, that are near them, like Syria. We see Son. these things happening, but our people, they don't care. As long as they get a check and they can go to the club, they, they, they don't give a damn. God, it vexes us, man, to be honest. That's why he said our forehead should be strong against their forehead, man. Yeah. Because we're trying to tell you people what's up. Oh, well, you know, they changed the scriptures. Or oh, what if, what yeah, if, yeah. what if. Well, we're here telling you everything in the scriptures of what's going on today. Think, man. It's, All right. It's 2020. Now, you have certain things like in uh, Acts 12 and 4 where it gives Easter. But we don't we don't celebrate Easter. Yeah. We're close to Passover. But, you know, our people still don't do the research on King James. First of all, he was a so-called black man. He wasn't a homosexual. It tells you that on you know, page 83 of the Basilica Honduran when he told his son not to engage in homosexual acts. Mm -hmm. Our people don't understand these things. That's what the scriptures say. Study to show that self approved Come. And you have teachers that are telling you to lead you to the way through the spirit of Yahweh Bashimel Shah. Hey, man, but you, what's that scripture say? Uh, people are deceived by their own vain opinions. Uh, ooh, matter of fact, let's get that. Because that's what our people do. It's 2020, and you're deceived by your vain opinions. Well, your opinions are going to deceive you into that uh, ditch of destruction with the, those, uh, you know, those missiles, man. Come, this is on um, Surat 3. The book of Ecclesiasticus 3 and verse 
24 for many are deceived by their own event, own mm -hmm. opinion okay yeah. it says and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment okay and yes man you guys always overthrow your own judgment man that's why early on um, the scripture you mentioned um you already had read it but it said about their own hands they're gonna hurt themselves mm -hmm. just roughly paraphrasing it yes man you're basically hurting yourself man mm -hmm. when we tell you hey this is the book you should be reading, all right? Then he, then he said, hey, I come in the volume of the book, mm -hmm. all right? Those who believe in me shall have, you know, everlasting salvation, things of that nature. Here it is, man, we're preaching to you from this book, all right? Um, diverse earthquakes, there's going to be many earthquakes, race wars, riots, destruction, yeah. etc. And you still got idiots out there, oh, they, they just changed the Bible. Oh, man, come on, bro. Yeah. Since you want to believe in your own vain opinion and, and this delusion that you got yourself in and that you're going to stick with, you're going to die with it, man. All right? But um, you had anything else? That's all I had. Kind of likewise, man. Well, you want to end up on something? Kind of. I don't know. Well, shit, man. I, just, I, got, I had something else there. Yeah, drop that. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. You got it, man. Uh, let's go to uh, Joshua because I saw you. Uh, going to Joshua time. But uh that's the first chapter. Alright, Joshua chapter um Yeah, Joshua one and eighteen. Whosoever he be that doth rebel against thy commandment and will not hearken unto the words and all that thou commandest him, he shall be put to death, only be strong and of good courage. And that's what we're trying to tell you. All these things are happening. This society is crumbling. The best thing that you can do is protect yourself under covering of the Heavenly Father. It's not going to start with an fact, because then they can shoot themselves in the foot. Remember that, remember that video of the Grandmaster Jay's henchmen shooting yeah. each other in the foot? That's all. And we're going to keep remember, we're gonna keep telling you about this guy's folly because this guy's an agent, man. Mm -hmm. Our people, they, they can't see the end. You know, and if they, if they have an indication of that this is the last days, if they claim themselves to be Israelites, they don't follow the whole commandments. They want to trust in men. All right, all these other events that you see is leading up into the Lord putting two thirds of our people to death because they simply um, are not following the commandments to the best of their ability, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so hey, um, you know the warning keeps going in and out, man, day in day out with these lessons. But this place is finished, man. Babylon is, is finished, man. All right, comment. Hey, beautifully um, said, man. And it's simple, man. Hey, you know, you, you people are, are, are stuck with this place. You guys believe in it. And much we can really do, but continue to just prophesy and glorify you. How about Shimei man, at the end of the day? But um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. So the hopeful left out there. And, you know, any sincere brother or sister who's watching, we're just going to close out. We give our all honor, glory, and two. Yahweh, by Hashem. Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, and Kakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, Red Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to your hopeful that's been pushing the truth, all right? Shalom. Shalom.